he sleeps by day at night he makes for the termite hills by his strange shape he fascinates the men of the forest and rules over their spirits to him they attribute a deep magical importance he incorporates in their eyes the power of the forest its mystery Covered with scales like a reptile, he's nevertheless a mammal who lives on the inhabitants of this huge ant castle. Original man and for the learned scientist alike, the giant pangolin suggests principles from the beginnings of the world. The slowness of his movements underline his sacred quality. Where will his nocturnal rambles lead him? He with scarcely any enemies at all. Now he nears the trap that the hunters have built so deep in the forest that no man can penetrate without angering the spirits. Men have violated the forest's hidden domain. In their trap lies dead the animal that no one must hurt. People of the Buame sect draw near. Let them pass through the fence, the confines of war. They alone know how to undo the sacrilegious act. Those who have killed the pangolin may not eat it, nor touch it. All hunting and fishing are now forbidden as their punishment. All activity by the men must cease, for the cord of harmony between them and the world is broken. Solemnly they enter, the men known as the purifiers. They alone can wash away the sin. They alone can restore peace. This is one of Africa's secret sects. The wisest men of each clan and village who gather together into one order to lead their various peoples back to harmony. <laughs> Animal, our forefathers danced in the days when the forest was young. The hunter set out where he should not have gone. This is the retribution. Dead is the animal that possessed all knowledge, giving it to man. The dancers imitate the actions of the purifiers, who alone have the right to carve up the pangolin. They will distribute the scales. They will eat the heart where knowledge resides. They will eat all of the holy animal for strength and purity. Pangolin is their friend and benefactor. 
When they came to the forest, they did not know how to take shelter from the heavy rains. Then the pangolin showed them his scales, and they covered their huts with broad overlapping leaves, as the pangolin covers himself with his scales. The intelligent animal is also praised for showing the way to peace, teaching the people how to build homes that protected them, led to a tranquil community, to a good life in association with their fellow men. But to remain so, there must be peace. The purifiers, many of them village chiefs, are not men of struggle, but of wisdom. Because the pangolin was killed, there was discord between men and the beasts. But the wise men have drawn off the curse. They know that evil and good follow each other like beads on a necklace. But whether the stool is lifted for war or lowered for peace, in this conflict, nobody wins. May the bird 